Good evening, it is Thursday. I haven't vlogged this whole week because I've been working. That's all I've been doing, just working and sleeping and I just, it's so tired. But I am done with work for the week and I'm excited because I am going to Nashville tomorrow. I am in the process of packing. It's going to be a girl's trip. It's gonna be me and Stephanie. We've never been on a trip before. This was her idea, she wanted to go somewhere and she invited me, so I couldn't pass up the opportunity to go on a new adventure. Anyway, I'm gonna get packing and then I'm gonna meet up with Stephanie and then we're going to be in Nashville. <laughs> I think it's like in the 20s right now, but because the sun is out, it's not too bad. First stop, breakfast. <music> Done my breakfast, and now we are going to do some sightseeing. First stop, the Parthenon. actually got full and I had to find a Walgreens and buy a new memory card. For some reason my camera is not letting me delete any files so that's why it kind of jumped from the Parthenon to downtown. We sight saw, sight saw, we did some sightseeing <laughs> but it was really cold so we did a little shopping afterwards so we can keep warm and now we're at our Airbnb. Oh also this is our car rental. This is our Airbnb. We have a whole house to ourselves. Let me give you a tour. We're gonna bar it up, bar hop pretty much. It's gonna be a cold, but good night. <laughs> Some barbecue, got some brisket, mac and cheese, and some potato salad. Also, I didn't know Jack Daniels had these. Watermelon punch, what? And then Stephanie got Southern Peach. Cheers! Last night was very, very fun, but very tiring because we've been at it all day. But today's our second day. We're gonna get something to eat and then we're gonna go hiking.
really, really fun. It's been a while since I had a drunken night, but I wasn't like blacked out drunk. I didn't bother or anything like that. But it was, it was fun. It was like a good, fun, drunken night. This is my last full day here, and Stephanie is actually going to leave early. She's actually going to leave in about an hour. Now for solo adventures. There's a horse carriage back there, and I'm over at I think it's called Riverfront Park. Look at this. There's downtown. And then there's the pedestrian bridge, which we're gonna go over. But look at this place, it's amazing. <laughs> Nashville for the day and now I am in the middle of nowhere <laughs> I'm actually on a farm and I'm off to my next Airbnb it's called the nest and it's through the woods I see it oh my goodness this is a little creepy but you can see the string lights it'd be so pretty at nighttime I am staying at a tree house <laughs> look at this there's a fire pit right here there's a hammock there's a bench swing underneath. Oh my goodness gracious! And I got some wine! Ah, this is so cool! I love this window right here! Oh my god! This is so cool! Oh my god! Alexa, turn on lights! Where is she? I have no idea. Oh my god, the string lights are on. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. Cheers. So before it starts getting really dark, I am going to attempt to make a fire. They got firewood over here and a starter kit. Um, maybe, are there directions on here? <laughs> oh, there is. Oh shit snap guys, I think I'm doing something. I think I'm starting it. So starting on fire didn't really work. There's still a little bit of a fire going on right now. If you can see the smoke. Oh, I see some fire. How is it going when I'm not there? That fire pit is ridiculous. <laughs> but I got this candle going on. That was successful. So for the rest of the night, I am going to just relax. I have my wine, I got lots and lots of snacks right here. I don't plan on going anywhere, but sticking around in this tree house. The Super Bowl is on tonight. Go Pats! And, oh, this is really springy. I really want to catch up on some reading. That's why I chose a tree house, not just for the experience, but for the solitude and some me time. I never really have time to read a book, and I have so many books that I want to read, so I just want to escape, be with nature, and read a book. It has gotten dark and look how beautiful the tree house looks at nighttime. It's so pretty. This is just so magical and watching this is us. Guys, it's too real. It's actually 20 degrees outside and it feels like 11 degrees. So this is the guest book and there are so many entries from people from all over the world. People have put their Polaroids here. There was this one cool one here. Someone's an artist. It's such a cute drawing. So I got my own Polaroid and I am going to write an entry.
Well, I can cross off sharing it next to a tree in a bucket off my bucket list. It's actually quite nice. Very different experience. All bundled up and ready to head on home. Saying goodbye to this wonderful, wonderful little tree house. I'm gonna miss it. I wish I had another night here just to do nothing but enjoy it. I have a little bit of time before I have to head out to the airport so I can get some brunch. At Biscuit Love and got a honey latte and this baby. I know it doesn't look much but it's a biscuit, country shaved ham, eggs, and sausage gravy. Oh my god. I know I'm looking like a mess but I'm finally back home. I got in last night like half past 11 and I was so exhausted. I traveled for about 10 hours and when I got home I knocked out. So today I, thank goodness I had the day off. I'm gonna unpack, do laundry. I also have schoolwork that I need to do today and I haven't even gotten started on editing this vlog at all. And it's back to the work grind. I've been re-watching The Kardashians and I cannot stop. I haven't watched The Kardashians in like years and I used to watch it a lot when I was in high school and college and then I just stopped watching it because my family didn't have cable when I moved down here in Florida. So since it's on Hulu, I thought why not keep up with The Kardashians? So. That's what I've been doing. Anyway, I just got home from work and I've been feeling under the weather since I've gotten back from Tennessee. I actually started feeling a little unwell um, when I was in Tennessee. I just had these aches and it wasn't going away, especially in like my neck. But when I got home, I took some ibuprofen, I took some essential oils and the aches went away. But then I started getting like this runny nose and then congestion and feeling really hot and then really cold. I mentioned earlier that I was taking essential oils for it and I feel like it's really worked. I had a sore throat and I gargled with an oil called On Guard and my throat felt better right away. So I talked to Ashley who is my friend that introduced me to doTERRA oils and she gave me a recipe to help kick the curb. So I am going to make that recipe and hope that the rest of the symptoms that I have will go away. All right, so according to Ashley's recipe, drop of frankincense, lemon, melaleuca, which is tea tree oil, oregano, and on guard, which is a blend of orange, clove, cinnamon, and rosemary and eucalyptus. So a lot is in there. Now Ashley told me to do it like a shot, but I have some green tea and some honey, so I'm hoping that will help with the flavor or the taste of this. I still can't smell it, but cheers to good health. Mm, that's not bad at all. The honey definitely sweetens it up, so I would say if you're ever going to use essential oils and you're going to ingest it, Put it in some tea with honey and it'll make it taste much better. It is Saturday. That little remedy seemed to help. I think I'm just gonna do like a cup a day. Other than this, I haven't taken any meds really. It's going to be a beautiful day. I think it's going to be high of 80. And even though I'm feeling under the weather, I really wanna go do something. Some place where I could just read a book. Now this is how you spend a Saturday. Besides the sniffly nose, not too bad, not too bad. So, I'm gonna read my book, enjoy this view, enjoy the sun and beautiful weather, and it's gonna be a nice relaxing day. So the beach was really nice and relaxing, but now I am all dressed up so that I can go to this Vietnamese New Year festival. My family goes every year, but I went to it like maybe once or twice. I never really go because I'm either working or I'm busy with something. But my youngest sister, Savannah or Kiwi, she dances during the festival. She wanted me to bring her shoes, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> I mean, did you think it went well? 
Made my appearance and went home after I did some grocery shopping. It's about 9 o'clock at night and I am so, so tired. At the festival, I want to just fall asleep. I'm just so tired. I bought lots of snacks because I've just been getting munchies and I need to stop eating bad stuff. So I got some kale chips, some healthy granola cookies, and I guess the only bad thing I got were these pop rice crisps because they're butter popcorn flavored, but I need something to eat while I watch the Kardashians. So if I'm gonna eat something, it better be healthy because I've been on a second binge. And I came home to some blue apron. So I'm going to unpack everything, wash off the space, and then hit the hay. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I hope you guys had a great week, or I guess I should say the past two weeks. I will see you guys in the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye.